Hey YouTube, I followed up on your comments about whether it's uh, ultraviolet light or current that's actually causing the phosphorescent material to glow and it turns out that it's uh, both, or it appears to be both. I've placed the phosphorescent material on top of my Vanagraph and I placed a sandwich baggie over top uh, which I tested earlier to not block UV light using a black light so uh, any UV light will pass through. I then brought my finger close and found that the glow stops at a very hard stop at the edge of the plastic where the current can no longer flow through. As I move my finger around, current kind of creeps under the plastic, depending on where I am, but uh, at a distance it appears to be that the current is causing the faint and uh, soft glow in the phosphorescent material. However, that soft-edged glow is not the only type of glow that's present. There's also a hard-edged, a very bright point glow uh, where sparks pass through, and these appear to be from uh, UV light. I used a uh, phosphorescent slinky and caused some sparks to pass across the surface of the slinky. When they went along the inside, there was no real uh, glow left, but when they raced along the outside, the side that the camera could see, there is a very well-defined glow left where the spark was almost in contact with the edge of the slinky, uh, leading me to believe that the intense UV from the spark is causing that very bright, well-defined line. However, sparks that were just inches away caused uh, no glow, so it seems to be a very uh, near-field effect. If the spark is racing directly across the surface or very close to the surface, there's enough UV to get it charged up, but uh, as the light falls off with the square of the distance, it seems to be that the UV is less and less of an effect. In addition to this test, I tried a number of experiments using a handheld Tesla coil, but wasn't able to get any real conclusive results because it's very hard to insulate at a high voltages and high frequencies. I hope you found this interesting and thanks for your comments and input. I otherwise wouldn't have gone back to investigate this any further and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. So thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel.